We begin tonight with freedom for a Detroit man who lost 16 years of his life behind bars for a crime he says he did not commit. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. A judge granting Dennis Atkins release just hours ago. Wayne County's Conviction Integrity Unit found new evidence clearing him of a 2005 murder. Atkins went to prison at the age of 22. Now he will be released back into society at the age of 38. That is 16 years he will never get back. He is the latest in a growing list of people wrongfully convicted or exonerated in Wayne County. 31 cases since the Conviction Integrity Unit was created back in 2018. 28 of those cases involved Detroit police. And now 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is asking, is anyone investigating how these cases went so wrong? Today marks the first day of Dennis Atkins' newfound freedom. It also marks one year to the day that Larry Smith was released from prison after a crime he says he also did not commit. To be out here with my family, to be out here and able to advocate on behalf of innocent people, um, it's just been absolutely amazing. And today, appearing via Zoom from a prison in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, 38-year-old Dennis Atkins also heard the words that would finally set him free. We're asking the court at this time to vacate all of his convictions and sentences and to dismiss uh, the case against him. Any objection, Mr. Atkins? Not at all. And at 1.30 this afternoon, after serving 16 years in prison for the murder of Billy Rutledge, who was shot and killed while on an EMS stretcher, Dennis Atkins was finally free. Valerie Newman heads up Wayne County's Conviction Integrity Unit. She says it was a very complicated case. That it turns out that the, the murder of Mr. Rutledge was connected to a series of other crimes including another murder. And while freedom is priceless, the financial strain consumed by those exonerated and wrongfully convicted is tremendous. And not every case qualifies a person for funding through WICA, the Wrongful Imprisonment Compensation Act. Larry Smith's attorney says it's about so much more than money. Because it allows him the resources that he so desperately needs to get the mental health care that he needs. They tell me that they returning me to make me whole but they're not giving me the things that the tools that's needed in order to make me whole. Since the Wayne County Conviction Integrity Unit began in 2018, 28 out of the 31 exonerations and wrongful convictions involved Detroit police. And the reasons vary from police misconduct, including the misuse of informants, mistaken identity, and false confessions. Mr. Smith has no other way he can't go out and go find the actual perpetrator after a quarter century. So he's done all that he can. We asked the U.S. Attorney's Office if they are investigating the cases tied to alleged misconduct by Detroit police. A spokesperson said per their policy, they cannot confirm or deny the existence of an investigation. I didn't have as much, but I had a lot because my mother, she sacrificed so much. My family, they sacrificed so much to bring us to the moment where I could get out. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Kim, for that report. Sadly, Adkins is far from alone. Yeah, according to the National Registry of Exonerations, since 1989, nearly 3,000 people in the U.S. have been exonerated for crimes they did not commit. When you add up all the time served, it totals more than 25,600 years lost. Wow. Let that settle in for a moment.